Hi friends, it's Ellie. Welcome back to my channel. Happy ninth day of the readathon of the 12 days of Christmas and Cosmos readathon. I hope you are having a wonderful, lovely time. And uh, today I wanted to talk about my TBR for the Whimsical Winter Readathon hosted by Kei Hao. I am very excited about it because I I love the idea that to to have such a wonderful readathon for the winter for January and February, and uh, I love that uh, when I am finished with these twelve days of Christmas and Christmas readathon that I can uh, continue with the uh, whimsical winter. All the prompts are so lovely, and I am very excited about that. Written my TBR. And so the first prompt is to read a picture book. And uh, Kei Hao has lots of um, really lovely uh, sounding um, picture books. And so I would love to read more than one. Uh, let's see how, how many I can read. Uh, but so I decided to start with the egg series um, by Yori John. So I was very uh, excited to f have found this series because they look very fun. And I've already read one, uh, The Great Eggscape. It was very funny uh, and I just love the, the small details. For example, that there are 12 eggs and they take care of each other, uh, but they also go on adventures. In this series, there is also the good egg, the bad seed, the smart cookie the couch potato, the sour grape, the cool bean. So they, they sound really fun. And then the next prompt is to watch a cozy old movie. And I I am really looking forward to watch more than one movie. Uh, I think winter is the perfect time to watch old movies. And I decided to start with a, a movie you can't take it with you. It sounds really fun. It's about... Uh, young man and a woman who fell in love but uh, the man's family is very snobby and very rich so that sounds it sounds like a very romantic story and then the next promise to read a retelling and i also pick a book from kate's list uh, from kate's recommendations ella enchanted it sounds really good um, because uh, it is a little bit of a different story for Cinderella. She has been cursed to, to obey always, but she her personality is not uh, is not at all like that. I think this book is very well known and beloved, so I'm really looking forward to read this book. Then the next prompt is recreate a meal you re you read about, and this prompt is great i love this prompt um and this is a great opportunity for me to use this book uh this cookbook Anne of ring gables this cookbook has been written by um ellen montgomery's granddaughter and she was inspired by, by the book so there are many recipes inspired by the book i have some dishes uh, that I've selected. Uh, my first priority are these chocolate caramels. They look delicious and here it says, there is a quote, I had one chocolate caramel once two years ago and it was simply delicious. I've often dreamed since then that I had a lot of chocolate caramels but I always wake up just when I am going to eat them. So in a sense it is something that is in the book then these puffy apple dumplings sounds also uh, very yummy and very simple. And finally, this corn souffle sounds also really good. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to this prompt and maybe to cook uh, even more delicious treats from this book or maybe if I find uh, other passages where food is being mentioned. And then the next one is read something written or said between 1900 and 1950. And uh, if you've follow, been following my channel, you, uh, you know I love uh, books uh, that have been written during this period. And 
So I am really excited about this prom and I would love to read more than one. But uh, so the first book on my TBR for this readathon is Clothes Specs. And it has been pub it was published in 1939. And um it's also a romance and I love that it takes place in a, a dress shop and it has been written by Noel Street Streetfield. Uh, so I am really, uh, I have high expectations for this book. I also have heard that it is a very cozy book. So right up my alley. Then the next promise to read a wintry poem and uh, I pick from I pick up from Kate's list. I chose Winter, My Secret by Christina Rossetti. And I would love to read more poems. Um so I am really excited about this prom too. And then there is read a children's chapter book. And I'm also very excited about this prom. And my first book for this is a classic book, PP Long Stocking. I've been wanting to read this book since uh last year and I uh, yeah I am really uh, glad that now I am going to do it and I am also going to read The Bell Family also written by Noel Streetfield. It sounds like a lot of fun, uh, just fam the family and the, the children are very fun so I am really looking forward to it also. And the last prompt is to read something in an idyllic setting. And I thought about reading something written by D. Stevenson, one of my favorite authors. And I've chosen Fletcher's End. Uh, it is about a couple, a new, newly married couple who uh, moves to Fletcher's End. And Fletcher's End is a, an old cottage on the on the English countryside. Uh, it sounds like it is very a very gentle. Um, story and also the the setting sounds wonderful so I am I am really happy about uh, continuing reading D. Stevenson and uh, I would love to read more books by her let's open the calendar it's cool but because today we have a shoe for the nine ladies at dancing on the 12th on the ninth day of Christmas my true love getting me That feels nice. Oh, it's really cute. It's a soap. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know about the smell, but it's really cute, really cute. Hmm. I am really looking forward to fulfill all the prompts. All the books in this on this list are books that I am really um looking forward to read and enjoy and i think this uh, readathon will make winter really um cozier and also i love the whimsical part of it uh, so i would love to hear if you are also participating and if you have some recommendations for some of the prompts thanks so much for watching and i will be seeing you tomorrow with the 10th day of the 12 days of christmas and cosmos readathon bye Thank you.